Hello, hello. This is Sebastian Mayapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and you're in Channel Geology Life in Hiram. And this time we're going to talk about gold and epithermal environments, a summary. And, um, and first, thank you to the subscribers who requested this presentation in English version. And uh, thank you also to the authors of uh, Antonio Arribas, uh, Jeff Hendensquist. Richard C. Toy, because of uh, their work and uh, the, their presentations, uh, uh, I was able to make uh, this uh, resume for you to enjoy it. And um, the purpose of the presentation is uh, um, educational purpose only, and uh, it's dedicated to the students who are in the last years of the university uh, studying geological engineering or related fields, uh, or students who are already finished and they're looking for the first job in the perfect copper. Uh, deposits. And um, uh, this presentation includes uh, three parts. The uh, first uh, part is uh, definitions of uh, um, gold and epithermal deposit before uh, uh, 2005. Second part, um, definitions after uh, 2020. And uh, two samples of uh, one sample of uh, um, primary uh, gold mineralization and a sample of oxidized uh, zone uh, gold mineralization. Okay, this is the first slide. So we're gonna start with the definition of uh, uh, epithermal deposits. Wildermar, uh, Lean Green, 1922. Uh, epithermal, above or over. In a definition, it says uh, deep, less than one kilometer, uh, temperature formation, less than uh, 300 degrees. In this case, we, we see a low sulfidation, alkalic, low sulfidation, intermediate sulfidation, high sulfidation, the bottom edges of mineralization in the top, we see uh, uh, how deep in kilometers, uh, zero 0.5, one kilometer. So, so they plotted all, all this uh, uh, deposit and they figured out that less than uh, less than one kilometer in temperature formation, less than uh, 300 uh, degrees of Celsius or centigrade. And uh, let's continue the next one. Uh, so this is the schematic reconstruction of high sulfidation deposit. That's how we call high sulfidation before uh, 205. And uh, uh, we see this uh, uh, ichneum right, this is rock type and uh, volcanic dome and uh, deep. Uh, uh, this is a, a 1999 in porphyry stock and a reconstruction of systematic high sulfidations in uh, we call uh, silica valley in that time and before that one is quartz ledge and a uh, steam heated acid leach zone, uh, uh, zonation of elite, quartz, uh, decide, quartz, alanite. Uh, and intermediate argelic and deep down uh, we have the porphyry stock and uh, uh, potassium uh, aluminum silicate alteration. Next one, that's uh, schematic how it was. And uh, this high sulfidation deposits uh, or style um, uh, or style and alteration assemblage. This is coming from uh, Summerville. Summerville deposit. They they they, they, they style and they found uh, uh, they have a uh, one feeder and the, the feeder we have the this silica buggy eh, in the center and uh, they started uh, from the center getting uh, farther from the system. They, they found this uh, uh, quartz alunite rock, uh, uh, kaolinitic rock. Elite, marmorinite, and propylenite. So that's how we, we used to uh, call uh, high sulfidation system. And uh, this acid of sulfate, there's a uh, alteration silica baggy, and uh, all components of uh, the rock leach, uh, leach leaving behind uh, baggy. So uh, open spaces, silica pH less than uh, less than one. Advanced argelic uh, alteration, and uh, so we have a uh, potassium aluminum uh, silicate as a primary uh, mineral, and then uh, we add two uh, molecules of water in uh, sulfur. We have uh, anionite, and then uh, the, uh, we uh, lose the sulfide, and we have kaolinite, which is a, a, a um, as aluminum silicate, and then we have a quartz and pyrite residual, and that's uh, how the process it is. And this is a reminder for low sulfidation deposits that we used to call before 205, it's uh, or style and, and alteration. So, uh, something uh, we see in, in here is uh, the, this is the feeder that we uh, we call, we used to call the feeder, the steel feeder. So, it's a fault zone, a structure zone, and it has a zonation, the center, the block, and so that's a crustified quartz calcedony carbonate, allularia, and barite uh, plus minus of chloride, and they have a, a sericide, uh, elite zone, chloride, calcite zone, 
and it's uh, that's how uh, how uh, it, it used to be and it assist the body today in the top we have this uh, considerably blanket and above them we have this a, a that uh, we used to call advanced energetic the assemblage kaolinite alunite native sulfur uh, opa, uh, opaline uh, silica steam heated alteration and something we see in the, this they have this favorable mythology and there is one out or that uh, uh, I read and says oh yeah we have a sandwich type of deposit. Yeah, it, it looked like a sandwich, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, the favorable lithology over there, you have uh, this uh, feeder, and uh, you have uh, the the ores on in there. So, ne next continue. And the, the, sa the same thing, uh, like uh, before, that's only uh, with colors. So, we have the crystalline uh, calcium with um, um, arsenic, uh, um, arsenic uh, pyrite and uh, gold and silver in there. In the surface, that's how it looks like in this uh, Cinta Therese or, uh, uh, hot spring and uh, in deep in the vein, how it looks like the, is this um, uh, crustified uh, quartz calcellane condensation. Um, this is the distribution of epithermal deposits in uh, the, the big ones in, uh, in, in Peru, Yanacocha, Purina, and um, in the United States, gold fields, of course, uh, some build, that's where the definition of uh, Silicon Valley came from. Uh, Lepanto, very important. Uh, and in Europe, this one, this uh, district, uh, Bohr, you know, in, uh, it's a very important uh, area that uh, needs to continue to study. Um, from, the, uh, from this is the last, uh, Pictures the uh, let's see for for um, two uh, two or five and after that we are going to start uh, definitions after uh, twenty twenty something we see in this case we have this uh, arc volcanic and uh, um, uh, Pacific area something uh, we see from there it's a uh, uh, next slide it's uh, this. Uh, so anic plate intruding to the uh, continental plate, and that's uh, what we call subduction. But we are going to be focusing this area. This is a, a volcanic arc in you know, uh, upper crystal uh, battle. So yeah, that's all. Yeah, there are four, four uh, processes, but we are not going to focus on that. And this uh, this is then uh, focus in the area. This uh, uh, volcanic arc. In a uh, uh, deep, we have this uh, middle upper uh, crystal battle. In above, we have this uh, propylic alteration. And we have the center potassium alteration, phyllic alteration, and then way above in the top, we have this AA alteration that now we're going to call advanced argelic. After 2020, that's a, uh, we didn't say a health situation, low situation, we say uh, advanced argelic alteration. Okay, uh, then next slide. Um, so once we get up from the um, uh, 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 volcanic arc, and we have to link this uh, perfect copper system hydrothermal alteration in uh, uh, 2010. And the, the heart of uh, the porphyry in the potassium will have uh, um, uh, 600 degree. And uh, going up, it's going to reduce the temperature, uh, uh, chloride, uh, sericide, sericide, and uh, quartz uh, pyrophyllite, and going to surface 200 and 100 degrees. And, surface and then we have this uh, residual quartz or, or, or quartz dissipation and uh next one so this is for the definition again uh, for um epithermal environments you know less than one kilometer and temperature formation less than uh 300 uh, degrees of temperature and uh the, the major deposits we, we are going to find uh, this uh, goal Copper uh, high situation this may that's what, how, how we used to call and uh, we have this high uh, high high situation load the uh, mayor uh, gold deposit in there and um, the, we have this area uh, intermediate epithermal intermediate argelic and finally we, uh, we have this advanced uh, advanced argelic uh, uh, little cup base so something is happening this uh, advanced argelic is going to create a cup it will be better based on lithology uh, that we are going to ca call uh, lithocopper later on. Okay, next one. So this is the uh, five processes that uh, is going to be involved in, uh, in, in the de development of uh, um, uh, advanced algebraic uh, minerals and it's going to start uh, the uh, uh, 
hottest temperature 300 degrees and lowest temperature will be uh, minus 40 degrees. And uh, this is the number one uh, cooling uh, magmatic hydrothermal fluid, uh, what mica and tuberculite, and uh, the temperature is uh, uh, less than uh, 300 degrees. And going up, we are going to have the system heated as a sulfide by the feeder, right? It's going to generate uh, gold, copper, um, high sulfidation epithermal. And the next one, uh, the, the, let's say the third uh, style, is going to be a hypogen acid um, sulfate chloride in, in one of the sites in the system. And number four uh, is going to be the steam heated um, carbon dioxide rich. And it's going to uh, call, or we used to call uh, intermediate sulfidation. Now we are going to call intermediate algelic. And number five, the supergene uh, oxidation of uh, pyrite, uh, basically oxidation of any sulfide that we're going to have a temperature going to be less than uh, uh, 40 degrees. And something very important in this um, supergene uh, environment is the uh, gold uh, enrichment um, gets, uh, gets by the gravity. So as soon as the erosion goes down, 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 and the gold uh, at the surface is going to be richer. And, and and deep, uh, we're going to have uh, the primary mineralization, but the primary mineralization will be lower uh, grade than uh, the surface. That's the uh, greatest advantage of super uh, uh, development in, uh, in this uh, graphic. Next one. Yeah, this is, uh, the, the, is uh, number three, the, the samples, rock samples. This is the... Um, Winner that passes in Colombia that used to work. And this is the quartz vein. We can see in here, this is the quartz vein and the native gold, visible gold in there. Uh, this uh, black, dark, it's arsenopyrite. And we have this uh, pyrite vein uh, um, parallel to, to the quartz vein. Uh, and then we have this fine grained uh, pyrite uh, disseminated. And we have this light gray colors, you know, light gray color white, and that's alunite. That's a, a potassium aluminum uh, sulfate. That's how it looks like uh, looks like in, in the primary mineralization uh, go, go uh, in, in epithermal deposit. Next one. So this is the, uh, the we used to call silica baggy, now we call uh, residual quartz. As we can see in this one, one, two, three, four, five, six edges. So that's what it used to be um, um, uh, biotype, primary biotype from the original rock. The, uh, and so now it has been niched out. We have some iron oxides, maybe uh, gerocide uh, and um, or yeah, elite or any other clade is uh, mixed with uh, uh, iron oxide. We have another six, uh, uh, six phases, six edges, and so probably another biotype. We have these rectangles, uh, what's the uh, or cordman that it used to be, and uh, we have these uh, squares, so that's uh, the same uh, cordman but uh, basal cutted. And uh, we have uh, this uh, another area, this uh, light gr uh, gray, so it probably uh, um, alunite or already kaolinite or already altered. And we have this uh, um, uh, light yellow colors as a gerocide. This uh, um, iron uh, uh, hydroxide, uh, uh, potassium aluminum hydro uh, hydroxide of uh, um, uh, iron. So it's coming after uh, pyrite. So that's how it looks like. So this this places that many places they have gold, many other places doesn't have gold. So it's possible uh, the very good uh, uh, place to find gold, but some places it does not have gold. But very good uh, target this areas. Next one. So this is a uh, gold fields Nevada, and as we can see, this is a native gold, and um, it's filling the spaces or the fractures of uh, this uh, quartz. Uh, uh, fracture opening spaces, and as you can imagine, how rich is the gold grade, right? So that's the uh, advantage of uh, the um, uh, so, uh, oxidation in, in the in super junior environment, so the, the gold values are going to be richer. Okay, I hope uh, you like it, you enjoy it, and thank you very much. If you like it, uh, put a like. If you didn't like it, put a dislike. Thank you very much.